on. Okay, um, I'm Tracy Bison. I'm, I'm, should I say my age? Okay, I'm 37 years old, but I don't look like it. <laughs> and um, I'm a single mom. <laughs> I'm a fashion designer. Uh, fashion design has been my dream. And um, New York, being a fashion designer in New York has been my lifelong dream ever since. And I just moved here last year. So I'm trying to like pursue it a little bit further. So um, yeah, and um, I've been kind of, um, I'm from the Philippines. I'm Filipino. So yeah, um, and actually I've been really like, uh, I've been doing contests my, maybe in the past decade, because this is how designers hustle. Like, yeah, it's like, uh, I was carrying my son when I when he was just a baby, like trying to get in Project Runway and all these other competitions. But yeah, that's the hustle. But I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, as, um, it has honed me a lot in a way that um, it gave me it gave me this kind of. Um, resourcefulness like some because like being in the Philippines um, some materials are not easily available and things like or you know uh, I can't I can't really just Amazon everything you know <laughs> it's um, it made me more resourceful and it made me more like improvise and make something of my own all the time and um, actually being in the Philippines I, I'm I'm so in love with the Filipino fabrics and all and that was my last that was my last collection in New York Fashion Week, so um, uh, I always try to bring in my my identity in a way in whenever I design, and even in my new chic um, design um, design <laughs> design design. Um, my design is pine the pineapple girl, so this is my illustration. <laughs> well. The big eyes. <laughs> yeah. This was the inspiration of it all because like it's so funny. I really, I really was like kind of excited to to share this with you guys because like um the 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 theme was like um post post pandemic um design, right? And then like oh my god, I was trying to like think of like really deep stuff like uh you know, like apocalyptic whatever. And then like there was just one night that like I had a fun video chat with my friend and we would just, we were just having drinks and we were just doing toast over over the video and then I kind of realized this is this is going to be the new normal, you know? It's like like we have to we have to make through, we have to like push through our ourselves trying to enjoy ourselves even even in the virtual situation that we're now having. And you know, and I come from the Philippines. Pineapple is kind of our thing over there, and pineapple just makes me feel so happy. And you know, like it's it's like a, a break. It's like we all deserve a pineapple juice or something. So yeah, so it's it all kind of like turned out to be one design. And it's like oh, and then I I read some quote saying like a be like a pineapple be wear a crown and be sweet on the inside and like yeah <laughs> right i mean and then like now it kind of makes all this big sense that like yeah maybe this is a very inspirational kind of design like like just think of something very happy be graceful and like even if every everyone it, it went through all these difficult times and but we can still have hope like fashion is there to have to give hope like it's innate for human beings to to want to look good, and that's why fashion is there. Even if there is going to be hard times, good times, one way or another, every human being would want to look happy, would want to look beautiful. So, yeah, let's just kind of embrace it. And also, I realized last summer, the strawberry dress became like really crazy viral. I think New Chic should should do a crazy viral pineapple dress. Mm-hmm. 
let's toast that. <laughs> design I kind of always try to make it like something I reflect from the inside um, like uh, it, it, so it's like it's always been like um, how did it affect me and how I can share it it's like it, it, it's an art but but like you know every painting every art form has a message um, my dress also has a message and just to have fun and embrace having having fun and looking forward to like we will all get through this there will be another summer and we will we will be happy again. <laughs> well, I envision uh well, I I'm already here in New York. I I envision all this like fabulous street fashion people wearing it <laughs> and um, I'm also I I also kind of represent the kawaii girls like the cute quirky girls out there and um, I love being cute all the time um, I don't need to I don't need to be young to be cute <laughs> I'm so defensive with my age <laughs> like um the the dress is like it's just very it's very ready to wear in a way that like um i i'm i'm a woman i know i know what i want to wear easily come come and go but like at the same time don't i don't feel conscious of my body form it's just very relaxed summer dress so it all went down to that and at the same time um this I think been I've been designing for a while, but like every collection, every design, I always try to put in a doll dress because I am so in love with dolls. So, so it's kind of like a, <laughs> it's kind of a doll dress at the same time summer dress. So, <laughs> so that's the that's the whole. I have a lot of stories. Can't you see? <laughs> Um, I guess the best description would be quirky, campy, uh, kawaii, uh, and girly, I guess. So I'm just like having fun all the time, embracing, embracing how it is to be like, because when I started, when I started to aspire to be a designer, I was just in love with like dressing up my dolls. And now, being a designer, I just want to like think of it as like everyone I would dress up will be my my dolls. <laughs> so, so that's like the the the. I mean, of course, like fashion is not so easy. Like <laughs> I'm in New York, I have to hustle my way. But like, there's this there's this like um, rewarding feeling that I see whenever whenever I dress up someone or whenever I just feel. Uh, I, I feel that I can feel their confidence in wearing my design and just having fun. You know, that that the kind of energy to I can just um spread out is the most rewarding thing. <laughs> Well, Filip well, um, Filipino, Filipino, Philippines, as as a country, we have so many indigenous tribes, and everyone has their own, their, has their own weaving going on. And actually, it was, it was, uh, I was able to like explore it furthermore. Actually, in the Philippines, what's funny is we even have a pineapple silk. <laughs> I didn't use it for my design though, but. But there's pineapple silk, we have pineapple silk, we have a lot of like different indigenous weaves. And I love I love I love how how organic and how how it's just the carbon footprint of these designs are just like very it just literally came from the weavers, everything is just hand woven. 
So yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, of course, if, thank you for asking that question. I always want to share my heritage out there in the world because um, I think this is this is the time. This is our. This is the age where everyone is trying to get to know different cultures and trying to appreciate everything. So I'm happy to like just share whatever I can with my culture. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, totally. It's 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 true. Um, um, I've come. I've come. I I. Back when I was in the Philippines, I was really working like hand in hand, like really close, close knit with all these um, indigenous groups and cra craftsmen. And what I can say is that they have extra heart. They have extra heart in like just they're not mechanical and just like just moving. They would they there's like every every loom of of the material has a story behind it and. And that's what kind of I guess that's me being a Filipino, like having this heart, having this this personality. I mean, we're we're part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, and we have so many calamities, typhoon, earthquake. But somehow Filipinos still end up smiling and laugh, finding something to laugh at. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for the lovely chat. <laughs> Bye. Oh, God. Is that okay? Shit. <laughs>